All right. Here it is. This is gonna help. And we've heard it. We've heard it a couple times actually in chat with your donations. If if Zeke is gonna come into his own mouth, why not just let him? Oh go my for God! A, why not? Oh my God! Elevate? Why not elevate it? Right? Where did you even get this? Oh, yummy. <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to argue it's not natural? It's a natural harvest. This is the, uh, you know, okay, let me look, let me look up some stuff. I'm a farmer at least once a day, apparently. We humans are truly omnivores. We will eat just about anything. As long as something edible either tastes good, makes us feel good, provides energy, nutrition, or adds a pleasurable texture, we find ways to eat it. Anyone who has traveled abroad knows that foods we might find strange or unpleasant Maybe consider delicacies. Hold on, let me just make sure you're all seeing the cover here. Uh, might be considered delicacies in other countries. Rotten fish. We've eaten that. Is a national dish in Sweden. Yes. While Australians spread con concentrated yeast extract on their breakfast toast. Oh, Marmite? Yeah, well, uh, Vegemite. Vegemite and Marmite. Yep. Uh, the British love their blood sausage. And guinea pigs are roasted for dinner in Peru. All the while, Americans and Europeans consume vast amounts of milk and other dairy products that consist of mammary secretions from cows. Compared to semen, milk might be considered positively disgusting. Right? Semen is not only nutritious, but it also has a palatable texture and wonderful cooking properties, like fine wine and cheeses. The taste of semen is complex and dynamic. <laughs> semen producers can generate a wide range of semen tastes, Simply by making minor dietary adjustments. Yeah, say, well, someone must have spooked this cow. It is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Despite all of these positive qualities, semen remains neglected as a food. This book hopes to change that. Once you overcome any initial overcome, uh, any initial hesitation, you will be surprised to learn how wonderful semen is in the kitchen. Semen is an exciting ingredient <laughs> that can give every dish you make an interesting twist twist <laughs> if you like us are passionate are a passionate cook uh and are not afraid to experiment with new ingredients you will love this cookbook the drink section starts with semen adds an exciting personal touch to your favorite cocktail <laughs> you can have high protein smoothies almost almost white, white russian, russian strawberry splash <laughs> Irish coffee extra, extra cream. cream. Cappuccino. Cappuccino the same. Yeah, the same. Uh, the same. Uh, ah. <laughs> Just like my mom used to make. <laughs> well, I guess I'm dead. I like my papa. I like a dad. <laughs> Appetizers. Slightly saltier caviar. Oh, come on. Man-made oysters. <laughs> Glazed grilled pink salmon. Fuck. Uh, main courses. Roasted lamb with good gravy. <laughs> Good gravy. Oh, good gravy. <laughs> uh, chicken, it's just chicken noodle soup. It doesn't have any, like, you know, funny well, pun or anything. But you know that song. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup with some semen on the side. That classic song. Uh, now, desserts, they don't, they don't mince words. Creamy cum crepes. <laughs> cum creme car caramel. That's a tongue twister. Cream eclair. Spunky candied pecans. Uh, creamy dessert, panna cotta, chocolate truffles with a white center, tiramisu, surprise, oh, surprise, see if you can guess what the surprise is, <laughs> this, this book is a young man's game, because okay. it's like an ounce of semen, no, no, yeah, no, maybe, no, 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 maybe like 10 years ago, but, uh, yeah. no, there's, no, okay, the, the drinks start out with tablespoons, yeah, even still, I mean, I'm, <laughs> in 40, at 41, you yeah. show, you show me a tablespoon, Tablespoon of semen right now. <laughs> okay, maybe if I you could, give I it could, a week. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, probably okay, like all right, all right. four or five. After four or five days, like I could probably give you a tablespoon. You're just like, oh man, I can't wait to make this lasagna. <laughs> I'm backed up, <laughs> Mamma Mia. <laughs> Nutritional information is: semen is nutritious. It contains a good balance of fructose, sugars, proteins, protein, enzymes, vitamins, and minerals. On its own, semen meets criteria for a low-carb food. Hey, in fact, go. in fact, Dr. You're Atkins... You're trying to lose weight. Dr. Atkins would probably embrace semen as an ideal food had it not been considered a faux pas. You know, the, the fucking social stigmas of eating semen. 
Like any other natural organic product, the quality of semen depends on, its, on the health of its producer. Generally, healthy males produce high quality semen and vice versa. Wait, what? Uh, well, it's saying like, oh, your semen. Oh, it's going to be a bit bitter. No, right. no, 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 oh, no, no, okay. no, 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 hold no, no, on no, a no, you, We all know the best tasting foods no, are the no, no, worst no, no, for no. you. Like well, my right, semen's so. going to come out tasting like dynamite. It's going to be I, awesome, but I it's going to be, that. it's going to go right to your hips. Shall we propose a taste test and see whose is better? So there's a section called cooking properties, but at the bottom it says, chef's note in italics. Heat up a lightly oiled frying pan slash skillet. Remove from heat and ejaculate directly onto the pan. I don't know if I got Return that. to heat and fry the semen without stirring. This will create a mini omelet. Or in some cases, many small omelet drops. This is the perfect introductory recipe for newbie semen cookers. That's like... Frying bacon naked. I don't trust my aim. I don't trust my hands. That's a burn that's going to be a hard heal. It's <laughs> so a tough injury. So you got to have the oven mitt with the pan. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's too. That's 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 a two man job. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. a two man job. The pan, when the I pan. when I'm frying up little om, little omelet dots. What what do they call it? Dr- uh, drops. Omelet, omelet drops. drops. Yes. Omelet drops hyphenated. So when, I'm fr- when I want to fry up some omelet drops, I'm going to need you to hold the pan. Bring me up. Uh, you can keep a small container in the, in the freezer. Simply add ejaculate into the container every morning and then return it to the freezer. That way, you'll always have sufficient amounts of semen for cooking. The by, box. By saving semen in this manner, you can quickly begin experimenting with recipes that require larger quantities. Also, the frozen semen can be mixed with syrup and shaved ice to make yummy ice cones. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Man, if you're a dude and you're getting a beach, and that person that is giving you the beach says they would, they would, they're not opposed to swallowing. Like that's great, that's great news. But how hypocritical am I if I don't do it myself? That's true. I should cook something up. You should give myself some omelet drops. It's only fair. It's only fair. At this point, it's only fair. 